journalist working on a story. Yeah, I just I told you that. Ma'am, un unfortunately, you do not need identification. No, you do not. You do not need identification identifying yourself as a journalist. You do not. Hi, how are you? And moreover, there is no certification or identification for a member of the media. Postal Inspector Ed Schultz. I'll show you my credentials. Security personnel. I know no, no. I'm law enforcement. Well, Mr. Yankee Man, you win. I'll do my walk of shame now. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another... Mr. Yankee Man. Nice. ...the video. Today, we are at the United States Post Office in Annapolis, Maryland. You know, there's very few channels that I can just like the video right away, but I know that Long Island Audit uh, will we'll stay classy. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas. Let's see how they do. Oh, I'm just filming, ma'am. I can't. I can't record in a federal building. Why? Why? The law. They said so. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm just filming. What? What law? Do you know the law? Government law. Government law. Yeah. I. I don't think there. There. There is. There is no law, ma'am. In fact, there's laws protecting the activity. Maybe. Postal offices are still kind of in a legal limbo. Sorry for my kettle. Hey, can I get Sir, you can either turn that off or I'll call the police. Ma'am, you can, you can do whatever you'd like, okay? Not the police. All of you guys are going to get an education today. <laughs> Stay here. Another, another Nancy that wants this happy guy in a cage. The armed and armored men are coming to put this happy guy in a cage. Why, why would you call this? Who, who are you? This is a federal building. Yeah. And it's a, I'm actually a supervisor. My name is Justin. This is actually a federal building. You're not allowed to record in the post office. So I'm going to ask you, please stop recording. Your name is Justin? Yes. And you're a supervisor here? Yes. If it's a federal building, why aren't the employees filing their tax returns as federal employees? And can and you please stop recording me? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, you're not? Okay. No problem. There's video cameras all over here. So you know. There. There. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, they're, they're, I'm just saying, they're, they're recording you. Why can't I record? But what, what's the difference? But what what makes it different? Oh, okay. So it's okay for them to record, but not for me. Um, shouldn't they be for everybody's safety? And that's the thing. Like these public employees are holding their hero public workers on a pedestal. It's just it's just bizarre, man. People have been just spun into 
not into like you can hardly call them people everybody's just so fucking spun okay. that's right but why are you recording what is your purpose thank you wait, wait you, you'll you'll understand it shortly if you stay around but i, I bet you'll leave but uh, i'll reveal everything at the end don't worry It's amazing to me how I could understand the civilians here saying it's against federal law. I don't know where they got that from. They were probably just co-signing the, um, the postal workers here. It's just amazing. Every post office I come into, well, almost everyone, the employees seem to believe. Did you hear them in the background? They want you to react, yeah. People are out there exposing uh, haters of public photography because they want you to hate them, not because you sh they don't want you to hate them. He's there to educate you, lady, that there's nothing wrong, there's nothing to be afraid of. See, and again, you have the citizen saying, the citizen saying, it's for their safety. It's for their safety, not yours, not mine. Their safety. They, the government employees need to be safe. And everybody is out to get them. You could be a terrorist because you, your, your skin is tan. I don't know where they get the notion that it's against some federal law to record. in the post office lobby. I don't know where they get this notion from. But we're going to educate them little by little. You're going to get an education. You're going to get an education. Free education. Hey sir, can you tell me what law what law it is that I can't that I can't film in a post office? Against the law. Do you know what law it is? No. Okay. I was just curious, that's all. Poster 7 is actually an, uh, basically just a copy of the federal laws governing the post office. And the post office does reserve the right to deny public photography. But it has to come from somebody approved by the postmaster. So we'll see what happens in this video. Good morning, sir. Uh, hey, Officer Queen, not the City Police Department, okay? Okay. I just want to inform you. Hey, good job, officer, introducing yourself. Yeah, we are being recorded right now, right? Okay, your body cam, your, your body cam is on? I'm sorry? Your body cam is on? It is. Okay, great. Gentlemen, here is an employee of the post officer office. This is a federal building. You cannot record in a federal building. Okay. Uh, oh. Quasi-federal building, and yes, you can record in a federal building in a, a publicly accessible area. Officer McQueen, yeah. uh, I, I want to show you something, and maybe you too, uh, supervisors. Uh, what was your name again? Justin. Justin. So I'm going to bring you over here, okay. and uh, I'm going to show you these. This is the rules and regulations governing, co um, governing the conduct on postal property. And again, those rules and regulations are our word-for-word -word copy of the actual federal law. Okay. If you read right here photographs for news purposes may be taken and commercial purposes may be taken in entries, lobbies, foyers. So you, you I have... You just said photographs? Photographs, video. It's called does, the, does it say photographs and video or just photographs? Pho photographs and video are the same thing, officer. Photographs and video are the same. Same one thing. Photo, one is video. Nope. I'm telling you, it's... I am a journalist. Okay. I'm working on a story on okay. this post office. Okay. So not only does the rules and regulations okay. allow me to be here, okay. 
but the First Amendment of the Constitution, freedom of press, allows me to be here and record. This is a public you building. Actually, if you, if you want to do what you're talking about, you actually have to get permission from the uh, unfor unfortunately, unfortunately, Justin, that's not true. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you, that's uh, it's, it's not true. I'm an Poster 7 does say with authorization of the postmaster. Dependent. I'm independent. Right, so you got me he just didn't read that far. Any type of identification on you? Um, no, I don't need any identification. I don't know you work for the press. No, well, well, everybody has the freedom of press, sir. Oh, but you said you work for the press. You are the press. I am the And I, I love that he's out here doing this, and there is ambiguity, and I think that the Supreme Court should get ahead of it so that all of the people involved don't have to keep wasting resources. The press. But I do think it's just a symptom of a bigger problem. Absolutely. Yes, okay. I am the press, oh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a journalist. I'm a okay. journalist working on a story on the post of the post office. Okay. If you if you prevent that in any way, you will be violating my civil rights. You'll okay. be violating my rights to film. Okay. I can film in a public lobby. So does this, that take photographs or video? This grants me the permission to take videos in the lobby. So, so did I say photographs or video? I'm t maybe you should talk to the postmaster. Maybe he's a supervisor, and I get that, but maybe you should talk to the postmaster. Uh, when an officer is doing an investigation, I would hope that if the relevant information is posted, that he could read the relevant information himself instead of relying on the citizen to interpret what it says. Postmaster, because the postmaster will be more knowledgeable on the subject. Before you, you do, you, you just wanted to read something to me, but you said it was just photographs. Yeah, this is photographing. That's not photographing. Yes, it, it's the same. Video. It's the, it's the same thing, so officer. So photographing the video is the same exact thing. It's the same thing. I have freedom of the press. I'm allowed to. Uh, yes, it's the same thing. It's just extremely quick photographs that never stop. Be here and rec also known as frames. You hear that lightning? Board in the lobby. The, the rules say it, and much more than the rules. And by the way, this is federal law. It's just not some poster. This is federal law. Okay. He informed me that I'm breaking federal law filming, which I know not to be the case. And on top of that, I have freedom of press. I can record in public buildings. This is a public building. I know you said it's a federal building, okay. but federal means public. Right. The same thing. Would you be able to carry firearms in this building too? I don't know. So I don't have a firearm, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, I'm not going to give you any ID, officer. Oh, okay. I haven't broken any laws. And again, the, the officer's fishing for some blue logic there, but if he wanted to know, he could read poster 7 and see the gun on it. There's like a picture of a gun on it. Can, can I get your names and badge numbers, please? What are you doing? I'll explain it. Can I get your names and badge numbers, please? Sergeant Hernandez, 3648. Okay. And your name and badge number, Medicine please? 5044. Thank you. So I'm well, Sergeant's got some attitude. She was, for some reason, reluctant to give her name and felt like, let's rewind it. Is this what you call courteous and professional? Names and badge numbers, please? What are you doing? I'll explain it. Can I get your names and badge numbers, please? Sergeant Hernandez, 3648. Okay. Sergeant Hernandez, 3648. Why do we even have to be here? And your name and badge number, Medicine please? 5044. Thank you. So I'm basically exercising my First Amendment right to film in public. That's it. Okay, when well you're on federal property. Yeah, I so understand that. On federal We're property, you have to have permission. Not true. Sir, it is true. I'm, 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 I, can, I can show you the rules and regulations governing the post office, which is federal law, if you'd like. Can you can I read that. What your reason is for I'm, I'm, a you? I'm a journalist working on a story. I have a First Amendment right to film in public. This is public. Wait, well, 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 this is, this is, this is, I, how am I being, cri wait, first. Stand by, that sounds like a detainment to me. Time entertainment, 921. Wait, 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 w
so, say. You and everybody else tells us that every day. So wait, but wait. Like, can creep people out. Like, okay. Like can every day, the last video said that there was a, nobody ever does it. And that it was strange, and that's why they needed his name and phoned the police. Try to get him in a cage. Can I tell you? Can I tell you why I'm here? I already told you. I already told you guys why I'm here. I already told you. There's no need for you guys to be here. There's you, none. You, you I, said, I told you. you, you I'm, I'm a journalist working on a story. Yeah. I just told you. That. Ma'am, unfor un unfortunately, you do. Here we go. Do not need identification. No, you do not. You do not need identification. Identifying yourself as a journalist, you do not. Do you have the first? Am the First Amendment Are grants you me. It's the First Amendment of the Constitution, ma'am. Freedom don't of have press. ID? No, it just it says that I have freedom Do of you press. Usually, journalists carry ID to identify themselves as journalists so that we don't run into this. Problem. Why would I need to ID myself to you, ma'am? No. And anyone can make an ID saying they're a journalist. I think if I if I did audits myself, I would have like a piece of cardboard with macaroni saying press. You know, macaroni glued onto it. Maybe some gold spray paint. Why not? You're on federal property. Outside there. You're well, on hold on. You are on federal I don't like you, I don't like you guys you behind me. Want. Hold on, I don't like you guys. You guys, you guys obviously have nothing to do. This is not private property. Oh, they're circling them again. More intimidation. Citizens love feeling intimidated by peace officers. Property. This is public property. This is public property. This is not public One, two, three, four, five officers for a man with a camera. There you go, at least she's honest. Saying that it isn't public property. That you're only allowed to be there when you have permission. And I just told you that. It's the rules, and that's federal law, by the way. Yeah, other photographs. Other. You missed the other on there. I know it very well. Yeah, lobbies. Lo this is the lobby. I'm not in a restricted area. So, you know, unfortunately, I can film. So I would. I, or, or, can I first, can I get your name and badge number? I didn't get it. Can I get it, please? Yeah. What is it? Absolutely. What is it? Oh, okay. You're gonna give me a card. Thank you. What is your hostility, man? I don't have a hostility. Like, like, are you Sir? trying to like prove something? Like, I don't have a hostility. That's that's. Uh oh, we got the coward. That's that's a miscarriage. So hostile. Instead of telling him your name, like he asked, why do I need a card when I have a video? Accusation of me. You guys hear Thor beating his hammer? Just started to feel the first couple of drops of rain. You've been you, you've been you barking start, at me you, since you, you got start, here. You start videotaping people, it starts creeping people out, man. I'm not videotaping anybody you, in particular. Everyone hides behind the First Amendment because it's the First Amendment. You can do whatever you want. I'll say whatever you want on video camera. I have no problem. I'm a photographer as well. I've got my master's in photography. Like you just start going into people's public businesses and you start and you start like this. So like this, okay. like like Look, this listen. is like. That was uncalled for. Come on, man. That he got, he got, he, he got that on his body camera. He's, he's got his body camera. Are you sure you don't have a master's in dramatic arts? Yeah, he's got a lot his, better, man. What do you mean, man? Come on, man. Come on, so, so exercising my rights is a problem. No, no. Doing this in front of people and not telling them what they're doing is creeping people I, first, out, man. You don't know what you're talking maybe, about. Maybe you have, listen, why don't you... Say, excuse me, sir. Why don't you... He told them what he was doing, and he wasn't getting in their face like the officer did with the citizen. Why don't you listen? I hear, I hear, I hear you talking. I hear you, I hear you talking, but I don't hear you listening. I don't hear you listening. Look, hide behind the First Amendment. Great, great. I will. It protects me. It protects me from people like you. Yes, I will. Thank you. I don't know if you guys like lightning, but. We're getting some in Toronto, and I love it. I love lightning and thunder. Come on, man. You know I wasn't being difficult with you when you, you got here. 
Really? Yes. I'm being difficult? Oh yes, extremely difficult answering all the relevant questions and doing your investigation for you. So difficult. Pointing something out that says photographs that has nothing oh, to do with the man, reason. come no, on. No, so you say you know what you're talking about. You have no documentation on you. I have no idea. How do I know you work for the press? So I just walk around. I'm telling you. Okay, I work for the press. Where's your idea? Okay. You I'm don't need it. Around. I'm gonna walk around and tell you I'm a police officer, but I'm not showing you any credentials. That's different. You need to show me it's that. It's always different. You need to show different. me that. Freedom of the press, not freedom of the peace officer. Everyone can't be a peace officer. Oh, here comes some thunder. Are you ready? Hey, no, is it now? Oh, it's just a baby one. This one should be bigger. Oh, it wasn't like the one before. You need to show me okay. proof you're a police officer. You do. That's, that's, that's your job. My job, I don't have to show you anything. Unfortunately, that's the way it works. Okay. If you don't like the way it works, take it up with your local congressman and have them change okay. the, 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 the have them change should, the uh, constitution. You should, you should take things up. I don't need to. Okay. I'm within my rights to be here and okay. film. Okay. You guys are wasting taxpayer dollars. You guys should be gone by now. You, you guys should just in, leave. You, live here in the city? you guys should just leave. You live here in the city? I'm not going to answer your question. So if, if you don't live here in the city, we're not wasting your money then, right? So you, who cares about it, right? It's you get you get federal grants? Is it your money? Do you get federal your grants? Money? Do you pay the federal grants? Do I pay federal taxes? Federal transfer fees? Uh, yeah. Big time federal transfer fees for false arrests and falsifying reports. Or a lot of federal transfer fees. I have no idea. You won't get ID. I have no idea if you're employed. I have no idea who you are. I have no idea about anything. I'm right. a, I, I don't even want to talk to you anymore, okay, man. Okay, then don't talk to me. Because you're, you're being difficult. Okay. You're being difficult. I don't even want to talk to you. Don't it's just, it's just, it's just a back and forth. You camera in front of my face. I mean, I'm filming you, yeah, because okay. I don't, well, I don't, don't know what you're going to do. You're just sitting here having a conversation with me. Okay, great. Did I ever come up to and any one of you and start filming? The no. The reason I'm being vocal is because there's a lot of this going around these days. Yeah. And it's unfortunate. Creeping the hell out of people that just even just walk around yeah, just doing this. And what they want is they want to be agitated. They want to, they want to push agendas on Let's people. Let's hear this guy's they speech. Want sure I want to make sure us, you're doing your job. Yeah. He wants us to Oh, here comes a bit, some more slander by the Earth's finest. Make sure that we take that camera, because he's probably you looking for a lawsuit. Yeah. How do you know that? He wants us to do it's something. Just to him. He wants you know? to be looking yes, for it. Oh, okay. We're not gonna just, do like, just, just like, just, just like, just, just like. Oh yeah, like in Danbury. The Danbury, one of the berries, where he got his camera took in and was like devastated. You could hear him in his, his live streams. He was genuinely dis distressed with the whole encounter. Is it Danbury or Woodbury? It's like you, just like you knew that you, the federal law was against, right? Yeah. yeah. How's that working out for you? Well, let's see how long you're going to be here. All right, we'll see. Longer than you. Guarantee that. I don't think so. All righty. Okay, great. <laughs> Filming the building is, is creepy, huh? I didn't film not one person. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea. You just you just came in here and started escalating. I wasn't filming people individually. I was not filming you individually, ma'am. I was not. I was not. I was not filming either one of you individually until you decided to talk to me. Yeah, until you, you talked to me. Federal law, right? Oh, man. I'm not going to entertain it anymore. I think with that lady, she's kind of not really worth engaging. She seems mentally unstable. It's their jurisdiction. It's okay. be with I'm here. I'm, I'm getting paid all day. So I'm here all day. Let me just update the meeting. There you have it. I'm getting paid. And uh, actually, he probably is upset that he's not out there able to be pulling someone over and changing drugs.
even tell me your name, man. Like, what's your name? Like, what I do you mean? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's capable of telling you his name, but he's not legally required to. You, my name, my number, my badge number. Unfortunately, on, listen, unfortunately, unfortunately, that's your job. You took a job where you had to do that, right? Come on. Do you, you took a job where you have to do that. I didn't take that job. I took a job where I don't have to give my name, right? Come on. You you have to give your name. You didn't give me your, you didn't give me your card because you didn't give me your card because you wanted to. You have to. It's right here. Because you have to. No, you, ha you have to have your name here. Yes, you do. Right, so we don't have to give you a card. We have to identify have ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. We took the extra step and give you a card. I could be like, nope. Yeah, and uh, he'll identify in any other way besides a card. Uh, it was beneath him, I guess, to speak his own name and badge number to a male peasant. Okay. Alright guys, I don't even want to fight with you guys anymore. It's just, it's, okay. it's not, it's not productive to the overall, right. it's not productive. I'll be here all day long. Yeah, we're getting paid all day. I'll be here all day long. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Something yeah. tells me that YouTube video is going to be like contempt of cop video. Oh, okay. Something, okay, something tells watch. you that. Who cares? It's going to be nothing. Who cares? Is he trying to make a prediction that they're going to arrest him for contempt of cop? I'm not losing any sleep over it. No, I don't. It's going to be like, hey guys, guess what? I posted this video today. You want to see it? Okay. I, I've seen three people watch the video. Who knows? Big deal. I'm, so, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know, McQueen. Badge comes off. I go home. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you know, McQueen. They're not. People are. Let people. People are not gonna like your, your behavior here today, man. Okay. Come on. Oh. This is a uh, second video I've seen recently with former Roman audits where police are trying to manufacture the creepy narrative. It, I'm not. I'm not doing anything wrong. You, right. you guys are here to enforce laws, not not enforce feelings, not well, enforce I'm policies. To say that you point, you want to specifically point me to something, and what you point me to was completely wrong. You uh, say, oh, man. it means it's a synonym. It's a synonym. No, it's not a synonym. Okay, man. Okay. And then when you don't have anything to do, you roll your eyes back, you tilt backwards, you say, oh my god, you don't have to do. You wait, you just wait, you just wait until. I just. Three, you wait until three of my friends watch this video. You wait. <laughs> okay, three of your friends watch this video. <laughs> yeah, three of my friends, I know. Or quite, I would say, probably say acquaintances, I don't know about friends. Okay. Okay. It's not not now he has two people watching his videos and no friends. No. He started off good, but definitely, definitely, uh, this officer needs some training, some retraining. Or, uh, we need to be giving our officers psychological tests to weed out cowards and sociopaths. Not professional what you're doing, man. Okay. Stay professional. Okay. Don't you, you just, even if even if I was here, you listen. Just went over this. Even now if you're I was here. Feelings. No, but listen, even now, if I now, even if I not, was here. Now this is unprofessional. My feelings are come on. I'm not, my feel did I say Yeah, it's nothing to do with feelings. You're supposed to when you wear that badge and you make your oath, you're supposed to conduct yourself in a manner becoming of an officer and my feelings are hurt it's your job so to be professional no it's your job to be professional that's your job do you understand the difference between my job and your job your job is to be professional protect and serve oh really that's your job is yes. it really that's why you get paid so, so we can't so we can't have a dialogue back and forth and so no so, you, you a respectful so because, dialogue so, so, I would, i'd be open to a respectful dialogue okay, yeah so, I'm asking so this dialogue hasn't been respectful He's being very sarcastic and very As childish. Well you are, so like How am I being sarcastic? I'm you not. You haven't been sarcastic once this whole time? He's, he's being very childish. I'm just trying to have an open conversation. That's all I I'm trying to do. Your question. job is to be professional. You give me an answer. You guys I don't like your job. Question. If you got, always to be professional. If you guys don't like your job, go get a different but, but, one. But what, sometimes you, can't, sometimes you can't handle it coming back at you? Come no, I don't, I, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, you say stuff and then just walk away. You, you say stuff and you just walk away. Yeah, you're like, maybe doing a documentary for YouTube. How you doing? And he's filming everybody as they come in, filming the, the, the walls, the ceiling. And Very beautiful. Hey, Sergeant, do you have a card I can have? I don't have one, sorry. Okay, no problem. Yeah, no, 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 you don't have to wear a mask. <laughs> no, you're good. Sorry, must have called ahead. Let me restart this. Yeah. <laughs> Take a car to we wait? I wish, man. I wish. I don't know how long security. They, they never called security forces before. So this is definitely a first for me. 
This is the post. Yeah, I've never seen the post office police get called before either, so this is a new one for me too. It's the postal inspector's office. They're the law enforcement division of the post office. Because technically, you guys could have you guys could have jurisdiction here, but that means this post office and your police department would have to create like a contract to where it gives you permission to enforce the law here, and then that that's the way it goes. But I, according to your sergeant, you guys don't have that. So that's why we're gonna wait for the postal inspector. I don't remember you asking our sergeant that question. What? What you just said to us. No. I'm they have that contract between you. I don't. You said no. Yeah. Well, you haven't been around the entire time. You're doing something off camera while some of the interactions are going on. Now I'm assuming he's still detained, and it's ten minutes later. They haven't told him he's not detained. No, I didn't ask her that. And it's ten minutes later, plus some editing time as well i believe uh, no oh. i didn't i'm saying that she you obviously she, she obviously she no because said. because uh, she said you guys don't have jurisdiction here oh. so i'm um, and um, by her saying that i'm inferring that you guys don't have a contract with the post office oh. because in order for you to have jurisdiction here because this is federal property you'd have to have a contract with the post office so by her saying that i'm inferring that you guys don't that's all postal inspectors are the you know Law enforcement division of the post of the post office. So if they come here and say, hypothetical. Yeah, 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 sure. You can't video in here. This is the reason why. Would you leave or no? Just out of my if, own curiosity. If I I comply with all lawful orders. So if it's a lawful order, I will comply. And all is, lawful. Is that orders. a lawful order saying that you cannot uh, video in a, a federal building, a post office? Is that no. a lawful order? No, it's so not. You're trying. If so they said that you would not comply with that. I would ask them if. I would be subject to arrest if I didn't leave. That's what I would ask them. Okay. It, and then I would say, hey, if they told me that, I'd say, am I subject to arrest if, if I don't leave and I don't stop recording? And if they say yes, then I leave and then the courts decide. Oh. You know what I mean? Fair enough. And the courts should decide. But it's unfortunate that someone has to put their freedom at risk in order to get the courts to decide. Can you please go over there so I can have a conversation? Seems like the citizen should have qualified immunity to me since the rules aren't clearly defined yet. Conversation with our police. Yeah, ma'am. Um, are you are you a federal employee? So I'm a person and I feel mm -hmm. threatened. You're a person and you feel threatened I by my. I want you to approach me. How are you, you doing? You feel today? threatened. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing well, thank you. Just walking on. Just walking. Me so. too. Cool. I enjoy walking. Let's go on a walk together. I'm going nice. That's not walking, that's what we call boxing out. Nice little stroll. Yeah, let's go on a stroll. Nice, cool. Sir, sir, mask, mask, um, your name and what position you hold? Postal Inspector Owens. Postal Inspector Owens? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, I was just filming the lobby and um, people, they told me inside that it's against federal law. And I told them that it wasn't, and I referred them to Poster 7. I've talked to your offices before, and I'm sure you're well, well aware of what it is I'm doing here and stuff like that. So I don't have a problem. There's nothing. Okay. You just know as long as you're doing it, you can't record. Behind the counter. Behind the counter. Correct. Some of the transactions. Correct, sir. Like I know that. Or in or restricted areas. I know that. Yep. But everywhere else I can film. Right, yeah. Great. Public space is accessible. And yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't, so we're good. Okay. You there you go, McQueen. I told you we were going to learn today. You wanted to learn. You told me. And I told you somebody's going to come and help you. Thank you. Yeah. Ma'am, ma did he educate you on the rules in the post office? You can stand by for just one minute. And we'll let what, you what, what does stand by mean? Yep, still detained. Still detained. That's, uh, that could be some big money for Long Island audits. That was a lengthy detention. Is that a detainment? Ma'am, am I detained? Ma'am, am I detained? She said, she, she, do me a favor, give me one second. Yeah, but she said I was, she said I stand by. She said stand by, that means that, oh, stand by means like, hold on a second. Oh, I thought, I, I could have, it could have been detained. No, no, that does not mean detained. I didn't know. I think it was detained. I think he's been detained since nine minutes, 20 seconds. 
Stand by me, just wait here for one minute. I'm trying to get more information, then we'll come. Yep, wait here for one minute. That's that's detainment is saying wait. So I hope I I hope he gets gets a settlement and he donates it to police force for retraining or screening. I really think that officers could do with uh, not only rigorous screening but at least have one person per team trained as an EMS the more the better and also give them Gracie survival training so that more police and more citizens will survive encounters. Uh, answer any question I'm That's cool. all I All right, guys, so we got the sergeant, officer, and a postal inspector. Postal inspector Owens. <laughs> Hopefully he does the right thing and uh, educates these uh, officers. He already did. He told them I had a, I was allowed to film in the lobby. So. Uh, Postal Inspector Owens, why, why, why are we making a big deal about about public photography? Like, what, what, what's, what's, what's the grand emergency here? Um, like, what's the. I don't see like the urgency here on, what do you, you mean know, by urgency? meaning like he already told you I can do it, right? I, I heard him say that, yeah. Yes, okay. So why are we all still here? Why can't you guys just go? Everybody has them enjoy your day, McQueen, so, and everybody goes on their way. Why is the sergeant trying to like push? So, I feel like she's trying to make a big deal out of nothing. No, I, I, I think it's the other way around, but what I'm yep, trying to solicit some sort of trespass so that all the officers involved can get their names on a report and uh, cash in on that bonus. What I'm trying to say is that I think they are trying to look for any kind of updated documentation that there may be. Um, you asked me to ask him about that paragraph in there yeah. for questioning. She asked him about that same paragraph and I think they're trying to explain or provide us with documentation on that paragraph so we know next time on how we can handle the situation better. Okay, cool. Did you go to a park? No, and, and when I'm in libraries, and when I'm in libraries, because I, I'm a father, that's why, that's why. Like when I'm in libraries, you know how they have the kids section? I never go in there. If I see a kid, I immediately turn my camera because even though I might have the right to film, it's their kids, it, that's sacred, that's for me. So, so there are boundaries, you do have boundaries. I do, no, no, I wouldn't just record somebody's little kid or if somebody, tell you another thing, if somebody came up to me politely and said, hey, like they passed me, like they're, they just did business at the post office and they passed me. And they said, hey sir, what are you doing this for? I'm like, I'm working on a story, right? And they said, well, I really wouldn't want to be in your story. Can you not put me in there? Sure, no problem, I'll blow your face out. You won't be in the story. That's it. But when you come up to me and you're like, don't stop fucking filming me. And, you, and you're like, get in my face and you're getting crazy. Now you're part of the story. Obviously, because you just made yourself out to be a fool. So I have to show everybody that you made yourself out to be a fool. And that's what, you know, people are going to watch the video more because you made yourself out to be a fool. But if you told me, hey, listen, you know, I have an ex that I don't want to know that I live here or something crazy. Or even just say, I'm not comfortable being on your film, please. I really appreciate it. I'm not a bad guy. I'd say, no problem, ma'am. I'll make sure I blow out your video. No problem, sir. It's, it, it's not that big of a deal. It's all about communication. It's all about figuring out what's the best way to go about doing things. There's some people who do what I do and they- Exactly, communicate. We, we've been given this great gift, but we don't even communicate with ourselves, like as individuals. So how can we hope to communicate with other beings in any sort of productive way? They get, they get a lot of views. They're like, what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? I just don't like that. What's your name and badge number? Okay, can you, all right. I'm just, just get out of my face. I understand what you're saying, but I'm I don't want it in my face. I'm just showing you. Okay. Afternoon, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I am Postal Inspector Ed Schultz. I'm streaming. 
Security personnel. I know no, it is. No, no, I'm law enforcement. Law enforcement of the postal. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, first, I want to tell you I find your Yankee hat very, very offensive because I'm a Red Sox fan. Oh. Terrible, terrible, terrible. That, there goes the bias. <laughs> Second, I understand. You Tell me what you're doing here. So what I'm doing is I'm gathering, I'm filming the post office, and I'm gathering content for a story. Not once have I went up to the counter. Not once have I filmed any type of financial transactions or any sensitive information or entered a restricted area. I'm simply gathering information from the outside as well as the inside of the post office for news purposes. For news purposes? Yeah. What kind of news purposes? Do you well, have, I'm, I'm a you journalist. A reporter? Yeah, you're, I'm a journalist. You're a journalist. I'm a journalist, correct. Okay. Um, do you represent a paper? Or I'm, a, I'm an independent journalist. You're an independent journalist. Independent journalist, independent journalist okay. correct, sir. Lots of people like that nowadays. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's, it's a way to make a living. Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. So, basically, you just told me everything that I was... Yeah, it's a way to make a living, but it's a way to do a whole lot more as well. It can be a very powerful tool. Citizen media. I was going to tell you, you're okay to be in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, First Amendment right, you're absolutely correct. Um, what you, you have to do is you have to stay out of the way, like of a customer for the line in front of customers. Uh, backs up, you can't block it, you can't, you can't impede anything, you certainly can't go up to yeah, and he did. <laughs> he could have explained that to the employees himself. He could have explained all of this to the employees, but instead, they you know they got a million dollars worth of salaries, two million dollars worth of salaries, there at that moment that could be somewhere else, doing their job. If the employees just knew, and they, it's a lack of training for them as well. It's just, I thought in the United States, like, people love the Constitution, they love their government, and, you know, I would assume that the Constitution, you know, at least the, the First Amendment is core learning, like, required learning in America. And to get a government position, you... You likely need to, most anyway, graduate from high school. I don't know. It's just all so bizarre. To the counter and film the... Uh, Sir, what, what was your name again? Uh, Schultz. Schultz. Uh, Inspector Schultz. Inspector Schultz. Uh, Inspector Schultz. Obviously, I know what I'm doing. I understand you're trying to tell me what to do, but I know I, I, I no, know I'm what just, I'm doing. I'm just going, it's good, I'll, I know you do. I'm, 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 it's okay, all, just so it's you know, all, I already know. No, 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 I'll I, let you, I'll let you I, say it though. I get you. That's fine, I you can you. say whatever no, you want. I'm, I'm, okay, I know. I just want to, I want you to make, make okay. sure that you hear me say it. Okay, great. Yeah, just, as you said before, yeah. you weren't filming those mm -hmm. uh, transactions, nope. don't, okay? If you want to stay in this common area and kind of quietly disappear into the framework and do all your filming, yeah. that's what I was doing. Thank you. Thank that you so much. Appreciate no appreciate you coming down here. I've never had a uh, inspector come down and, and clear this up. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate I appreciate both of you guys. Uh, uh, for, what was your name again? Inspector Owens. Inspector Owens. Yeah, I I, I appreciate you guys coming down here. Um, so you got better things to do, but I appreciate it, okay. and I appreciate you letting uh, local law enforcement know uh, what I'm doing here is completely legal. Absolutely. And stay safe and enjoy Absolutely. your day. You too. You too. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Anytime no one's in cuffs is good, but officers sure could have conducted themselves with more class in this video. These two sociopaths, coward, sociopath, coward. I think you guys were able to see that in them. Maybe not. Well, I'm glad you guys got your education today. You both were very reasonable. Um, DeFalco. I hope he sticks around. New York. I hope he sticks around until the officers leave. Just on principle. Home team over there. McQueen, Jersey. Mm. Giants. Mm, Giants. Giants. Oh, that's right, Jets? I'm Philly. Philly? Is that, is that what you guys... Is South that what you... Oh, South that's South what you guys... <laughs> no, not where I'm at. It's not South Philly. Philly. 
Yeah. So you're by Pennsylvania, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Northwest. Actually, to be honest, we're, we're um, I'm about close to Pittsburgh? 30 minutes from New York and about 40 minutes from Philly. No shit. All right, let's do it. You want to walk out together? Would you be cool with that? Would you be cool with that? I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I, I don't. I don't think McQueen's gonna be down for it. We could walk out together. I would do that. You know. We, just, just for context, we we had discussions about the uh, walk, we had discussions about the walk of shame. So. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. The, the coward can become brave, and the sociopath can be used effectively in law enforcement. But, and the fact that they're naturally drawn to a dangerous job is, is, you know, useful. And we can use these people, but we need to have oversight and accountability. They're, they're trying to avoid it at all costs, but I'm, I'm open to going out together. We can do that. And, you know, I can go. <laughs> you ever heard of going postal? <laughs> that's, that's where it came here. That's where it came from, though. That's where it came from, the post office. People, the postman goes crazy. You making statements like that, you're going to call back in one way or another? Uh, making statements that postal officers go crazy and shoot up the place? People get you called there? I don't know. Some uh, thin blue logic there. Oh man, there we go. Come on, McQueen. Lighten up a little bit. Man. <sighs> I'm very sensitive. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm offended. I'm I, I, I think I, I think I think your I think your your personality exudes that you're not that Yeah, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I, I have emotions, honest. But But it is my third day here, so that's the point. I can't really do it. Is it really? Yeah. How am I doing? Is it really? Is it impressive? I'm doing pretty good for fourth day, right? For fourth day, you've done a lot better than people I've known for 20 years. So I doubt it's your fourth day, though. I'll find out. We'll look it up. Okay. My name is Officer McQueen. Capital M C Capital Q U E N. All right. Well, ID number 6374. 6374. Yes, sir. You're gonna be a fan that's favorite. A, Cause you had you had you're gonna you're gonna be a you're gonna be a fan favorite. One seven. Now I'm gonna clear it. Officers could respond to that. We'll see if they do. Oh. Well, Mr. Yankee Man, you win. I'll do my walk of shame now. <laughs> but only because you're just, you're just, you're, you're just, you're just going to your call. You're doing your job. Good job. Go, oh, go, no. go, protect and serve. Thank you. Walk. Make sure you do my good job. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Together. All right, cause you're from New York. Let's go together, man. Let's do it side by side. Side by side. Side by side. Let's do it. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Thank you. Well, they, they came to a compromise, so that's always positive. Uh, should, should the citizen have, have needed to compromise there? Uh, I don't think so. I think the citizen was within his rights to stay and see if they thought... Um, a violation of a no contact order was more important than a guy with a camera and a post office. Thank you. Thank you for clearing everything up. Thank you. Stay safe, McQueen. I, I don't hope to see you. So, McQueen. Ouch. McQueen had his walk of shame. Me and DeFalco over here walked out together. Show solidarity. Law enforcement and citizens, everybody here got an education. Postal inspectors came here and uh, educated the sergeant, educated uh, Officer McQueen and DeFalco. All right, guys, so uh, this was a long one. I'm going to edit them as, mo uh, as much as possible. But um, take care, God bless, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Long Island Audit, peace.